Hello friends, you'll be surprised to know that India is the capital for diabetes in the world. India continues to face this alarming rise of diabetes in our country. 75 million people are affected by some form of diabetes. It is said that almost one out of six people in the world who are diabetic is from India. With this kind of prevalence and incidence, the awareness of diabetes is high. But you'll be surprised that there is minimal awareness that diabetes has direct impact on your vision and your eyes. So this is a very important episode where I want to tell you everything about diabetes and how it directly impacts your eyes and your vision. Let's get started. I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Eye Institute and this channel of eye logs is everything to do with vision and eye care. If you already not subscribed, please do so and don't forget to click the notification button so every time I release a new video, you get notified. So what exactly is diabetes? This is a disease where either your blood glucose, also called as blood sugar, is really high. So blood glucose is the main source of energy. It comes from the food that we eat. Now there is a hormone called insulin which is secreted by our pancreas. Now this hormone actually helps the glucose that comes from the food to process it and so that it can enter your cell and this is the form of energy that you get for your cell. Now sometimes what can happen is the insulin is not made enough or if made properly not used well by the cells. So basically what happens here is that the glucose is there in your blood, it doesn't reach the cell and so not utilized by the cell and this leads to high blood sugar. So what happens here is over time there is more sugar going around in your blood. So this will lead to damage of all the parts of the body like your heart, your liver, your spleen, your kidney, your nerves and your blood vessels. So do not forget these blood vessels which are there also in the eye, in the retina also do get damaged. So now we have basically understood what is diabetes, but I will tell you what are the different types of diabetes. So basically there are two types of diabetes, diabetes insipidus and diabetes mellitus. But as far as vision and eyes are concerned, we are concerned only with diabetes mellitus. In diabetes mellitus, there is a type 1, type 2 and the gestational diabetes. The type 1 diabetes is also called as juvenile diabetes. Unfortunately, it's a chronic condition and in this condition, there is hardly any insulin produced by your body. If at all there is, it's very little that is produced by the body. So if you have type 1 diabetes, your immune system destroys the insulin making cells in your pancreas. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults, although it can be found at any age. People with type 1 diabetes usually have to take insulin every day. Type 1 diabetes accounts for about 5 to 10% of all the diabetics. So here what I want to highlight is patients diagnosed with type 1 diabetes should have their first eye checkup within the first 5 years of the diagnosis. Coming to the other diabetes which is the type 2 diabetes which is actually an adult onset diabetes. Unfortunately this is a chronic condition and here there are two problems which are interrelated at work. Either your pancreas do not produce enough insulin or your body responds poorly to the insulin that it produces and takes in less sugar. In short what it does is it affects the way the body processes your blood sugar. This type 2 diabetes accounts for 90 to 95 percent of all the diabetics. So patients with type 2 diabetes should have an immediate eye checkup the day they are diagnosed with disease. But whether you have the type 1 or the type 2 diabetes, my thought would be that the day you get diagnosed with disease, you should have an immediate eye checkup. As I said, the other type of diabetes was the gestational diabetes. That is the diabetes that affect the pregnant women. So those who develop gestational diabetes are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. So patients who develop diabetes during or before pregnancy should have at least one eye checkup during each time minister of pregnancy. So diabetes affects your eyes when your blood sugar is really too high or you are suffering from diabetes for several years. So if your blood sugar is high and you are on medication, sometimes people have blurry vision when this medication is changed to bring the blood sugar down. 
So did you know that your blood sugar levels can really affect your eye prescription or your chashme ka number? So if your blood sugar is high, what it really does is it causes a swelling in the tissues of your eye, including your lens, and that results in change of your number. So we actually do not prescribe any glasses till your blood sugar is not controlled. So we want your fasting and your postprandial, that's PP, below 190, and that would be the right time to make your glass prescription. However, those were the short-term changes. The long-term changes, that means if your sugar remains high for a long time, it can really damage the small vessels of your retina. So what really is diabetic eye disease? It's a group of eye problems that affect the various parts of the eye in people who are suffering from diabetes for a long time. So diabetes affects your eye externally and internally. I once had a patient who came to me with multiple styles. First in the right eye, in the upper lid, and then in the left eye, in the lower lid, with small swellings and pain. And when we did the blood sugar test, surprisingly, he didn't know he was a diabetic. So this is how diabetes can show up in form of external diseases like multiple styles, multiple chalasions, or blephritis. Blephritis is nothing but infection of the eyelashes. Internally, the eye can get affected in the form of cataract, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic macular edema, and ischemic optic neuropathy. So now, let us get into each of these conditions where the diabetes was affecting your eye internally. The first being the cataract. So if your blood sugar is high, what can happen is you'll get a early onset of cataract. So in a younger age group, you may develop a snowflaked cataract or a posterior subcapsular cataract. And in an older age group, you'll develop a sticky and a leathery cataract. So the second condition where diabetes affects your eye internally is glaucoma, also called as Kajbindu or Chamal. Now this is a silent thief of sight. So when the pressure of the eye goes up, it's called glaucoma. This can damage your nerve inside the eye. And this can cause permanent irreversible damage. So having diabetes doubles your odds of getting glaucoma. So every diabetic should have the eye pressure checked and the nerve examined for an early diagnosis of glaucoma. Rarely, patients with advanced diabetes may have a very resistant and progressive type of glaucoma and this is called a neovascular glaucoma. This needs an entirely different type of management. Now the third and the fourth condition, which is diabetic retinopathy and diabetic macular edema. This is the worst thing that can happen because there are small blood vessels in your retina which can leak and cause a permanent irreversible damage to your retina. Look forward to these next few episodes where in detail and in depth we will discuss how diabetes affects your retina. The last condition I mentioned was ischemic optic neuropathy. Here what actually happens is the blood supply to your nerve, which sends a message to the brain, suddenly gets cut off in diabetes. So what it affects is your vision and color vision. Unfortunately, this causes permanent damage. So friends, this brings me to the end of today's episode of Diabetes and the Eye. I just gave you an outline as to how diabetes really affects your eye and your vision. My colleague, Dr. Bhavin Shah, who's a vitro retinal surgeon, will actually tell you in depth as to how diabetes affects the retina and the common problem of diabetic retinopathy and macular edema in the next few episodes to come. Stay tuned to this channel of Eyelogs, which has everything to do with vision eye care. And do not forget to share this with friends and family.